your mind controls everything. So when you, when you begin to work out, you have to learn basic things. And everything that you do, you're thinking it out. For instance, when you learn your basic exercise, you have to learn how to step, how to set your weight, adjust your weight so that your body is even and your weight is balanced. You have to learn how to uh, pivot or turn. Uh, you, have to, you have to learn how to develop speed and focus. How to learn, you have to learn how to stop when you're throwing a punch without hitting somebody or hurting them. Uh, from there, probably one of the hardest things to develop is uh, the breathing aspects of it. You have to learn how to breathe properly so that you can breathe when you're, when you're throwing a technique to add full focus and power to it. And with the breathing, you develop your mind. And you're constantly getting a supply of oxygen into your bloodstream to help your body become stronger and to feed your, your, your brain the proper oxygen that, that you need to think clearly. Your mind has to be very clear. When you're, when you're uh, fighting, you develop to a point that nothing should interfere with your thought at all. When you're breaking, you have to concentrate mainly on what you're going to break. You develop an internal strength, which is known as a ki. In Japanese, it's called ki. In Chinese, it's called chi. All right? And I guess the best way to relate this would be like the American term of adrenaline. You get all of your adrenaline going in your body, and you concentrate, and you try to focus in on the object that you're trying to break. But uh, the breaking aspects of it is only the showmanship of the martial arts. That's not the true meaning behind it. It only shows what the individual is capable of doing and how far he can go and, you know, internal strength and that type of thing. Uh, when, you, when you start breaking, you start off breaking small things, maybe uh, small boards like uh, pine and stuff like that. You have to work on developing your knuckles, your fingertips. There are certain things you have to do. You have to do push-ups. You have to punch a makawara board. All of this helps for the development. And then finally, as you graduate, you graduate into breaking bricks or concrete or into ice. It depends on how far you want to go in breaking. There are people that specialize in breaking, and that's what they do. Dedication is another thing, because there are two different ways that you can learn the martial arts. And the first way is you can learn traditional type of karate, which is practiced with, with kata, fighting, sparring, tournament fighting. And this brings out the best in the individual. And the other way is the self-defense aspect of it. Most people really want to do the, the self-defense aspects of karate or martial arts, any form of martial arts, because it's, it's quick and it's easy. And it's not time consuming. They don't have to spend a lot of time. If you're gonna, if you're gonna do uh, the martial arts for, um, I'd say for the purpose of self-defense, you, you could probably develop yourself within about maybe six months with a few techniques that'll help you in the street. If you want to learn traditional martial arts, you're going to have to look at a long time range type of thing because it's going to be something like at least four or five years before you make black belt. I started karate, uh, I'd say, when I was about 12 or 13 years old. Started off with judo and martial arts, the sport form of it. Now in judo, in the sport form, what you do is you throw the individual, or you have like, a, almost like a tug of war. But the way the, the uh, Japanese practice it is that you have to have a very soft touch. And when the individual is thrown, he shouldn't even it's more like a tug of war and you're trying to pull and break each other's balance. And from judo, I went on to jiu-jitsu. The art of jiu-jitsu is to maim a person. So it has to be body contact before you can do anything. And from there, I went into um, studying a form of kung fu. And that was very interesting to me because it deals with just more than karate. It's more like a, a form of yoga. That's the best way I could explain it. Uh, from there, I got into Ishiru, and I achieved the rank of uh, fifth degree black belt, which I am right now. All total, I've put in maybe, I guess, roughly about 25 years into the martial arts. 
in the level of belts, you have uh, different belts. You start off as a white belt, you go from a white belt to a yellow belt, to a yellow belt to an orange belt, from orange to green, from green to brown, and then into black. And they have levels of degrees. So the belts range backwards. They start from the highest number and then each uh, one going up to the highest number. In order to different levels, you have to take it. And the requirements uh, in, in our style, which is called Ishiguro, it's an open